Ultimo Dragon once held an unprecedented 10 championships at once. How did he achieve such an accomplishment? Well, a large part of it had to do with him winning the illustrious J-Crown. Now, some of you may remember WCW praising Ultimo Dragon for holding 10 titles simultaneously, but what really fascinates me is that even though he was in WCW, one of those 10 titles was the WWF Championship. That's right, during the WCW-WWF rivalry, a WWF title was on WCW TV. A lot. It was defended, contested, and even held by a WCW wrestler. How did this happen? In order to get to that, we need to cover a little bit of history with the marvelous championship known as the J-Crown. The J-Crown Octuple Unified Championship was created by Jushin Thunder Liger for New Japan Pro Wrestling with the goal of combining eight different championships from five different organizations from all around the world all of which represented lighter weight classes. The first J-Crown champion was crowned after winning a tournament that spanned from August 2nd to August 5th in 1996, and it was held in conjunction with that year's G1 Climax tournament. Now this tournament was truly amazing. Eight champions, eight championships, and every single match was a title for title match. And the winner of every match became an interim champion until only one man emerged victorious. Now what was truly unique about the J-Crown was that unlike many other title merges, the belts in the J-Crown all remained individually distinct. They were just bound together under one large umbrella championship. And while the J-Crown title may simply be a unification of eight championships, as far as I'm concerned, it was a title that was truly greater than the sum of its parts. What are those parts? Well, let's break it down. The NWA World Junior Heavyweight Championship. The oldest championship in the J-Crown was first awarded to Ken Fenelon in 1945 by Paul Pinky George, only to have him lose it later on that month to Marshall Estepe. Now, the NWA Junior World Heavyweight Championship technically predates the National Wrestling Alliance itself, which was officially created in 1948. The lineage is also even older than that when you consider that it was combined with the National Wrestling Association's championship of the same name. I've already covered the history of the NWA in a prior episode. This also theoretically brings the J-Crown up to nine titles. Anyway, the National Wrestling Alliance's title follows the same weight limits as the National Wrestling Association's title, which was 175 to 190 pounds. Before it became part of the J-Crown, the title was held by Masayoshi Motegi, who won it in another tournament, defeating El Hio de Santo in the finals. Then in 1999, after it was vacated with the J-Crown's disbanding, the belt was brought back by yet another tournament. This time the final saw the Viper take on Logan Kane, and Logan was victorious. And last I checked, the championship is still active and is one of two titles to bear the name NWA World Junior Heavyweight Championship. The other is the Zero One version of the very same belt, which is featured prominently in Japan. The NWA Welterweight Championship. This title also predates the NWA as it was created in 1946 and was created by the EMLL. It was first won by El Santo, who won in an eight-man tournament to become the inaugural champion. Then, after joining the National Wrestling Alliance in the 1950s, the championship was rebranded as the NWA title. Then, after the EMLL withdrew from the NWA, they managed to keep a few championships, including this one, and they just kept the name NWA as its moniker. Then in 1992, then-champion Mysterioso left for AAA and vacated the title. It remained inactive until 1995 when it was awarded to another tournament winner with Negro Casas, defeating El Hio de Santo in the finals. The next year, he would be eliminated in the first round of the J-Crown tournament, losing the title to Shinjiro Otani. Then after the J-Crown broke up, the title was yet again deactivated until 1999. Now what's interesting here is that by this time, Ultimo Dragon School Toriumon grew in such popularity that it became a sort of promotion unto itself. It even controlled several titles, including the NWA World Welterweight Championship. The newly awarded champ, the Dragon Kid, was the first to hold the Toriumon promoted championship. Then in 2007, Le Sombro won the title and brought it back to the CMLL. And the title still exists to this day as part of the NWA Mexico Division. UWA World Junior Light Heavyweight Championship From 214 pounds to 236 pounds, the UWA World Junior Light Heavyweight Championship was created in 1977 and was first awarded to Cesar Valentino. Then when the UWA shut down, the current champ at the time, the Grand Mata actually took the belt to Japan, where he eventually lost it to Sabu. The following year, Shinjiro Otani would bring the title with him into the J-Crown tournament, where he would lose it to the Ultimo Dragon in the semifinals. Then after the disbanding of the J-Crown, the title would go on to be promoted by Toriumon, resurfacing a few months later before eventually returning to Mexico and being used in the independent scene, where the title remains to this day. 
The IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. The International Wrestling Grand Prix Junior Heavyweight Championship belt is assumed to have the same weight limit as the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship at 220 pounds. The title was first created in 1986 when it was won by Shiro Koshinaka, who defeated the Cobra to become the first ever champion. After the disbandment of the J-Crown, the championship was reintroduced a few months later in February of 1998, when it was reclaimed by Jushin Thunder Liger in Sapporo, Japan. The belt would also return to WCW TV as well, being won by to Guerrero. The belt quickly then returned back to Japan where it remains to this day, and during that time it has been held by many wrestlers, including Kota Ibushi, Kenny Omega, Loki, Kushida, and Finn Balor. WWA World Junior Light Heavyweight Championship Ranging from 203 pounds to 214 pounds, the World Wrestling Association's Junior Light Heavyweight Championship was first held by Rey Mysterio Sr. in 1989 in Tijuana, Mexico. Several years later, and the Gran Hamada would take the belt with him into the J-Crown Tournament before losing it to El Samurai, who then lost it to the great Suzuki in the semifinals. After the J-Crown disbanded, the title came back in 1999 when Halloween defeated Super Parker in the finals of a tournament to recrown the belt. From there, things got interesting. A rival promotion, Pro Wrestling Zero One, began promoting their wrestler Filoso as the new WWA World Junior Light Heavyweight Champion, even though he never actually won the belt and even though the title has no connection to the original WWA lineage. Nevertheless, both titles remain as separate championships that share the same name. The British Commonwealth Junior Heavyweight Championship. Now the weight limit for this title is not known. It's also especially difficult to figure out seeing that England's famed Montevans rules do not include a junior heavyweight division. But looking at the wrestlers who have held the title, ranging from Christopher Daniels all the way to Takahiro Suwa, we can assume that the division probably has a range from 180 pounds to 235 pounds. Either way, created in 1995 and first awarded to wrestler Doc Dean, the British Commonwealth Junior Heavyweight Championship was first introduced in England. Later on in that same year, it found its way to Japan with the great Suzuki and the promotion Michinuku Pro Wrestling. Eventually, it was won by Jushin Thunder Liger, who held the title until it was put up during the initial J-Crown tournament, where he was eliminated by the Ultimo Dragon. After the J-Crown was disbanded, the belt was reintroduced in England on Valentine's Day 1998, when the Dirt Bike Kid defeated Mikey Whipwreck for the vacant belt. The following year, it found itself around the waist of Tiger Mask and eventually back in Japan once again. The title stayed there until the end of 2003, where it has remained inactive ever since. War International Junior Heavyweight Championship Wrestling Association R created their International Junior Heavyweight Championship in 1995. It can be assumed to have a weight class of 180 pounds to around 220. The first bout for the title saw Chris Jericho lose to Gato to become the first champion. It entered the J-Crown tournament around the waist of the Ultimo Dragon, who lost it in the finals to the Great Suzuki. From there, interestingly enough, the title was the first to break away from the J-Crown when Jushin Thunder Liger lost the belt to Yuji Yasuroka. It was on the line separately while the other titles were not up for grabs. Sometime after that, and the war promotion would begin winding down around the year 2000. It had a one-night appearance on the War Final Reborn to the Future show in the summer of 2006. It would then be contested in a match between Gato and Masaaki Mochizuki to determine who would get the honor of officially retiring the title at the Dragon Gate Crown Gate show. But then the title was revived in 2007 for the Tenru Project, where it remained until Masao Orihara, the then champion, left the promotion in 2012. It has not resurfaced since. And finally, with a weight limit of 215 pounds, later changed to 220 pounds, the WWF Light Heavyweight Championship was first decided by the winner of a tournament in 1981, where the final saw Pera Aguaya defeat the Gran Hamada in Japan. From there, the belt began traveling. It did a quick tour on the American West Coast, and from there, it was on to Mexico before eventually going back to Japan. The title would jump back and forth between Japan and Mexico, being regularly contested all the way up until it became part of the J-Crown with El Samurai. Now where was the WWF in all this? Well it seems like they just plum forgot about it. Presumably they didn't even miss the title at all because in 1997 they decided to create the WWF Light Heavyweight Championship without realizing that they already did. WCW had popularity with their cruiserweight division and WWF wanted to compete by having their own lighter weight class championship. And as the story goes, it was then that they caught wind that their OG lighter weight belt was actually circulating outside of their company. Shijiro Otani 
who was the J Crown champion at the time and the WWF demanded that he return the title. He did so immediately and with that he also released most of the other titles in the J Crown, except of course for the previously mentioned war title and the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title which he kept and continued to defend, thus officially ending the J Crown. WWF then went on to hold a light heavyweight championship tournament of their very own that saw Taka Michinoku defeat Grandmaster Sexay in the finals. WWF officially considers this to be when the title was actually created despite the earlier 1981 tournament and the lineage thereof. Now if you're keeping track, the finals of the first J-Crown tournament saw the great Suzuki going against Ultimo Dragon. Suzuki would then go on to become the very first J-Crown champion. And despite losing in the finals, Ultimo Dragon would eventually capture the J-Crown tournament and represent the championship in WCW. And you may be wondering, didn't he say the Ultimo Dragon held 10 titles but wasn't the J-Crown only 8? Well yes, both are true. Ultimo Dragon did hold the 8 titles within the J-Crown, but when he won it, he was already the NWA World Middleweight Champion and he went on to win the WCW Cruiserweight title, bringing him to a grand total of 10 concurrent titles, a record that still remains as of this recording. Well there you go, what did you think? Let me know in the comments and please don't forget to follow me on Twitter and to check out my Patreon page. Any support you have to give is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and as always, this has been Dave Knows.